Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your love reading for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Leo-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. Um, if you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Cancer and Virgo-only channel. And then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light, where I post all 12 signs and collective readings, okay? Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. And when the winners are announced, I'm giving away four question text readings. Um, so just post something that you are grateful for or a positive affirmation with a green heart in the comment section to enter to win, okay? Happy birthday, my beautiful babies. Leo season is almost over. I hope that it was amazing for you. Um, if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, the link is below. If you would like to book a reading, I did open up WhatsApp uh, questions again. Um, one, two, and three questions. You can uh, find those on my website. So you could book it on my website and then I will send you the WhatsApp uh, video to the answer to your question. Um, so the link for that is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot tutorial. It's about two and a half hours long, so if you're looking to learn how to read tarot or start a tarot channel, you can check that out, okay? All right, my little lion cubs, let's get popping here, and let's see what we have for Leo, please. Spirit, tell me about Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Leo, please. Leo's person, please. Okay. All right, so Leo, why do I feel liars in the reverse and humor here? So Leo, I, there's an energy of, I think, a lie being exposed. I don't know why. I, I, someone here is laughing because a lie is being exposed. Tell me about liar in the reverse. I feel like a lie is being exposed and someone is laughing because you're jealous. Because they're seeing that you get upset or to see that you're jealous over this or upset over this. All right, let's pull some tarot and see what's going on here. But they're laughing at it. Tell me about Leo, please. What do we have here for Leo? Two of cups in the reverse. The Five of Cups and the Devil. We've got the King of Swords, we've got the Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, see the Sun card, something here is being exposed. Two of Cups in the reverse is unrequited love or a relationship ending. Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, this could be someone got money out of you, okay? Someone here is getting money out of you, or it could be that someone was cheating with somebody else. I do feel like this person has a small sense of regret or feeling guilty for what they're doing to you but they're gonna laugh it off to your face like when it comes out what this person did someone here could be scamming you leo for money or someone here is you know cheating okay and i feel like the truth is going to come out and even though maybe they do feel a little bad on the inside to your face they're just going to laugh it off they're just going to laugh it off. The safe face, I guess, because they're caught. Tell me about the Two of Cups in the reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Five of Cups and the Ace of Swords. This person knows what they're doing is wrong. The Knight of Pentacles could be a representation that this is someone that you've been dating for quite some time. Okay? 
and you're realizing that this person maybe has been stealing from you or using you, or it could be that they were um, seeing somebody else. Six of Wands and the Devil. So the mask is coming off. Their true self is being exposed, but with the six of wands, like they're going to try to save face and laugh in your face. Like, fuck it. I'm caught. I might as well just laugh and be the villain. Okay. It's like, it's like, even though this person kind of feels bad, you know, like they kind of feel bad, but it's like, fuck it. I'm in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm in it. The, the truth came out, you know, so I'm just going to own it. I'm just going to laugh at this person and be like, yeah, dude, did you really think you meant something to me? Screw you. I, I've been cheating or I've been using you. It's like the truth comes out. And instead of this person, like at least showing some type of remorse or regret or just shutting up, you know, at least just being quiet. No, they go in the direction of laughing at you like you're a joke. Like, yeah, did you really think I was going to stay with you? Of course I'm cheating. Or did you really think I was with you for love? Of course I was just with you for money, you know? Tell me about the King of Swords, please. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. The plan was always to leave you, but I think that the plan was to leave you desolate. Like someone here was planning on taking from you. This could, there's a lot of pentacles here, Leo. Okay. There's a lot of pentacles here. And I, I'm telling you, it's like someone here was out to rob you blind, but someone here was always out to leave you to go be with somebody else. Tell me about the two of pentacles and the world card. The truth is coming out here. And this is ending. Yeah, the world card, the nine of wands, and the tower. Something is going to happen here, Leo. Okay? And and I think that with the five of wands, you're going to get mad. You may lift your hands. You know, they're getting... They're laughing at your jealousy or they're laughing at your anger. They're laughing at watching you flip out when this, and it's going to hit you. I mean, this is going to hit you like a wrecking ball. Okay. With the tower, it's like you never in a million years thought that this person would do something like this to you. Okay. You never thought that they would do something like this to you. Yeah. Seven of cups. Like uh, Leo, I think that you're going to like lose your shit here. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna lose your mind for a second here because the betrayal is just that. And it's not just the betrayal. It's, it's the fact that they're laughing at you. It's the fact that someone is the, this person, not only did the truth come out, not only it is, is this betrayal being exposed, but they're laughing at you. Mm. I, you just can't believe it. You just can't believe what you're seeing, what you're hearing. Tell me about Leo, please. We've got image and we've got sensitive. Leo, I think you make good money. I think you have nice things, okay? But it doesn't mean that you don't have a heart. You know, it, yeah, okay, maybe you make good money, maybe you like nice things, maybe you like to be flashy, maybe you like all that shit, but you're also extremely emotional and sensitive. Leo, I think you're going to feel it here. I think that you, I think you're just going to go home and cry. I think that you're just going to go home and cry here. I think this is really going to get to you. I'm not going to lie. Whatever this person is about to do or say. And again, it's, it's, it's like to add insult to injury. It's not only did they betray you, but it's the laughter. It's the cackling. It's the, you know, yeah, you've been a joke this entire time, which I, I have to say, I do have to say they do feel bad and guilty, but they're, they're just like, it's like, fuck it. I'm caught. I'm caught, so I might as well just go with it, you know? Tell me about Leo. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Guys, this is going to resonate for my Leos that are financially stable, okay? With the Star card, the Nine of Pentacles, listen, Leo, you work hard and you play harder, 
Okay. You may have a nice lifestyle. You may have a nice car, a nice motorcycle. Uh, you wear nice things. You may have a nice watch. You know, you look good. Okay. When you leave your house, you know, you, you walk around in style. Okay, with the star card here, you know, some of you may have a public job, you may be a public figure, you may have a lot of the, you know, things that you own online where you, you know, you take pictures of you going on vacation and doing things, you know, you, you do very well for yourself here. Okay, tell me about Leo, please. And the four of wands, some of you may have a really nice house. Some of you may have a really nice house. But it doesn't mean because you have money that you're not human and that you don't have feelings, okay? I think that this person was out to use you for finances. Someone here is out to use you for finances. And it could be a friend, a love interest, a family member. Someone here is out to use you and hurt you for money. We've got the emperor in the reverse and the four of pentacles. So what you have here is a distorted masculine. You've got someone here that's tyrannical, controlling, uh, selfish, greedy, and with the Four of Pentacles, someone here is a is an energy vampire. They've been sucking you dry financially, mentally, emotionally. Like this is somebody that um, has really been energetically just sucking you dry. We've got the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. This is not going to end well. This is not going to end well. I feel like you're really heartbroken here, Leo. This person's really going, this betrayal, you're going to feel it, okay? Especially because with the emperor to the empress here, Leo, you may have thought this was your twin flame. And as a matter of fact, I saw twin flame. Yep, see twin flame under the deck. You may have thought this was your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine counterpart. You may have thought that this was the one, okay? Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, Aries, Taurus energy, Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy, Leo energy. Uh, Leo, you're a master manifester here. Whatever you touch turns to gold. Some of you do very well for yourself. Now, Leo, if you're not sitting in this energy right now, please keep in mind that you may, you know, start a business or do something and you may end up very much financially stable. So take this into consideration you know, for the future here. Okay. Tell me about the star card and the 10 of pentacles. Yeah. You got money and you flaunt it. Okay. Point blank period. You got money and you flaunt it and you ended up with the seven of swords, letting a thief into your house. This person came off as loving and sweet and romantic and kind and all that other shit. Okay. Um, but you let, you let a snake into your house. You did. Okay. Tell me about the four of pentacles here and the nine of cups. Yeah. It, it, you know, you're a very, when Leos are in love or with their close family or the people that they're close to, Leos love to spoil the people that they're close to. Okay. Love to spoil the people that they are close to. Okay. So uh, you, whatever this person wanted, you bought it you know, just throw it in the bag, right? What, what is that song? Just throw it in the bag. Whatever the, whatever this person wanted, you bought it. Okay. Tell me about this three of swords and the 10 of swords with the page of swords. Yeah. You're finding something out here. There's a truth coming towards you. There is a truth coming towards you, something that you're going to see. Maybe this person slips up, says something. I don't know. You know, there's something that is going to happen here where you're going to realize that this person is hoarding money or taking from you or using you or betraying you. Tell me about this seven of swords and temperance. You were very comfortable with this person, Leo. <clears throat> Sag energy. You were very comfortable with this person. You really trusted this person. You really trusted them. What is this tower that's coming out? What is happening here? Is I think this is just about money. The Knight of Swords and the Ace of Cups.
Leo, I hate to say this, but I feel like someone here was taking money and maybe giving it to somebody else or saving to go somewhere else. The Knight of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. But you see what I'm saying? Like they were taking stuff from you, taking stuff from you and giving it to a third party possibly planning a future with a third party or planning to go with a third party what is this ace of cups and the six of swords yes someone here was planning on moving out to go towards a third party so i, I think that like leo it's like this person was with you um for you to buy them stuff or build them up or help them with the business help them get a car help to help them get some type of loan they were using you to build them up or to save money or to do something and then the plan was to go somewhere else and you found out about it. And you found out about it. Leo, I think that you're so tired of being used. I think that you are so tired of being used. Okay, so I'm going to take this into the extended. I want to see if this person is going to pay any karma. What's going to happen in their connection with this third party? And what is next for you? What is going to happen to you after this whole thing takes place? Three of swords, ten of swords, you're heartbroken now, but what's next for you after this, okay? The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comments section below. I love you guys so very much, and I will see you there. Take care, my darlings.